Hello and welcome back to Jaws Gaming. Today we're going to be talking about Red Dead Redemption 2 and speculating on single player DLC. If we even get some, I'm pretty sure we will. I don't know why they wouldn't do that. I feel like it's something fans are practically demanding. Uh, so really what this video is going to be is speculating on the different things I've heard of, the different ones that, you know, which ones I would want, which ones a lot of people I've seen have wanted, um, and of course how likely each one is. So we're going to start out with the least likely one and, and work our, our way from there. So starting off would be a Charles Smith Canada DLC. I feel like this is the least likely one just because... It doesn't seem all that interesting of a setting. We have plenty of snow. While Char being able to follow Charles Smith's story would be interesting. I don't know how much it would add. It would add some, you know, Native American stuff, I feel like. And obviously, Charles' story throughout life. Uh, whether or not he had the same fate that maybe John would have had. Uh, I, I just, I don't think that it's something a lot of people are asking for. I don't see it being likely. I have seen some people say it could be something they would do, but I really doubt it. It's just not something people are asking for. It's not something that has been hinted at. Uh, while it would be interesting, I would be excited for it. I just don't know how much it would add to the game. So this is my least likely one, and it would be okay. But uh, I wouldn't be like as excited as I would be for some of the later ones that I will uh, talk about later down the line. So the next one, this one I feel like is somewhat likely. It's kind of half and half uh, and it's got a couple of reasons to it. So this one would be a Sadie Adler Mexico DLC. So while I do feel like Mexico will be added to the game at some point, which I'm ecstatic for because Mexico was one of my favorite parts of the first game, just the world, everyone's got different opinions about the story there, but just the world of Mexico and how it kind of threw a different uh, twist onto things, you know, maybe you could even see Landon Ricketts, hopefully, maybe, that'd be cool to see him down there. Uh, I feel like that's something they should definitely add, uh, but to be able to follow Sadie through her journey, you know, see kind of her story she was a great character i would love to see more of her story and she did say she was going to mexico so it's somewhat hinted at in the main storyline i would love to see that i would be very excited for it i think it's something that's somewhat likely to happen but i don't know that that's something a lot of fans are asking for like there are there's a good portion of the fan base that would like that uh, but overall, in comparison to some of the others, I just don't see it as taking precedence over those, including, you know, hints and, and little things like that. It would be nice. They could maybe add multiple single-player DLCs. I doubt that, though. That's not something uh, many companies do. They usually roll with one, sometimes zero, and that's it. So... <clears throat> That one, while I would be excited for it, I don't see it as being the one that they will go with. Uh, but I do think they will add Mexico either way. I definitely want to see Landon Ricketts again. Um, so yeah, that's it for that one. So the next one, this one's been hinted at by Legacy Killer HD, And the only reason I have this one on the list is because it's sort of likely. But it's a piece of another one I'm going to go into later. Uh, but this one would be a Cowboys vs. Aliens DLC, which would be very interesting. If you've seen the movie, it's not super old. It's like it's got Daniel Craig in it. It's you know he's still being James. It was at the time he's still filming James Bond movies, so it wasn't his greatest performance. It's an interesting movie though. I, I recommend watching it, especially if this is the the DLC they go with, or even uh, even if not. Uh, it's it's a pretty it's a fun little movie. I enjoyed it when I watched it, but super, I would be very excited for that. It would add a lot to it. Obviously, you would have the the alien thing. It would add some interesting weapons, outfits, things like that. But I don't know how much those things would fit into the world, and I don't know how much people would be. Uh, I don't know. I, I would be excited for it. It would add something different, kind of a fresh take on things. Uh, Undead nightmare focused on zombies. You know, Rockstar's done a lot of alien stuff, and especially in GTA 5, there's some alien 
uh, thing. So I don't see why it wouldn't be a DLC. I could definitely see it happening. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Uh, but I don't think it's as likely as the other two I'm going to go into. And, uh, so, well, this, this next one is, uh, kind of ties in with the Mexico thing. And that would be a Red Dead Redemption 1 remake or remaster. And just adding that to Red Dead Redemption 2. I think that would make the complete edition of this game just the greatest game ever made. And... I'm not exaggerating, dead serious. It would be the greatest game ever made if they added the Red Dead Redemption 1 remake to it. You have two of the greatest stories ever in gaming put into one game, uh, one as like an add-on. That would be unbelievably fantastic. I, I don't know that I would play any other game for story. I'm kidding, obviously I would. But that would be amazing. <laughs> I would so be down for that. There are some lore things that they could smooth out uh, between this game and obviously the previous one just to kind of smooth them some things between the stories. Uh, they could also expand a little bit on Jack and what he did after the main story of the first game. And while a lot of people are not as fond of Jack as they are of John or Arthur, uh, it would be nice just to see him kind of expand a little bit instead of that one epilogue mission that you get have a couple show what he did after that what kind of life he pursued it does hint that he goes into that outlaw life but you also got to think of that time period you're talking around the end of world war one you're going to the roaring 20s maybe he gets into organized crime maybe you show him end up in los santos i'm not saying they need to add los santos but just kind of hint at that as being where he went and kind of got involved with crime and started that kind of crime family thing in that area. That would be very interesting uh, just to kind of tie it, you know, Red Dead and GTA together. I don't know. I, I, that would be cool. And again, I want to see London Ricketts again. Um, <laughs> but not only that, you would add Mexico to the game, which I feel like they're going to do no matter what. Mexico is been fairly polished there was a glitch a couple months ago people were exploiting to go see it you could see they were very close to finishing it even the presidio is pretty well textured and polished the it's doesn't have a lot of assets on the inside but you can definitely tell from the outside it's very well done a lot of the brush and everything is is also well done there you can tell they're very close to adding this to the game ultimately they did not but i feel like they will in the future um, this one is tied for most likely, uh, as the next one I feel like uh, has also been hinted at a lot and is something a lot of people would want, is also something would be very exciting. So this last one, and this is the one that I feel like has been hinted the most, but is tied for being most likely. I know it doesn't make any sense, but to end this is the suspense, I believe the Supernatural DLC will be the one that is the single player DLC. Now, I'd be just excited for a Supernatural DLC as I would for a Red Dead 1 remake. They'd be awesome. I would pray that they would do both. That would be incredible, but I doubt that would happen. Um, so this would expand obviously on the, alien, the Cowboys vs. Aliens DLC. So um, in the first game you have Undead Nightmare which focuses primarily on zombies. I feel like they would want to do something that focuses on more things, especially with all the hints in the game at supernatural things uh, and just scary things in general. It doesn't even have to be just supernatural. I mean, you do have ghosts. You have the night folk who are kind of uh, interesting. They're, they're sort of like zombies almost, but they're not because they're not undead, but they're creepy. You come across the crying lady in the woods. That's a hint at a real-life supernatural thing that people have experienced, and she brings bad luck. Uh, whereas you'd meet her in the game, and you get attacked by night folk. Uh, there's even a mission for it. They're really creepy. Uh, you also have the man bear pig, which would be totally creepy. You have the giant. He um, there's there's the one that's hidden behind the the rocks, and there's the the skeleton that you can find. And the one that is hidden behind the rocks is uh, he's always talking to you like, hey, I, haven't, I can't talk to anyone because I'm too big and all this stuff. 
which would be interesting. I mean, he could be a Sasquatch. He may not just be a giant. Maybe that giant skeleton is a Sasquatch skeleton. I don't know. Sasquatches were in the first Undead Nightmare. Uh, there could also be other things. Obviously, zombies could be something uh, probably related to the Night Folk. Honestly, they, they would probably have something to do with it. Uh, I mean, the mask that creates the zombie apocalypse is in San Denis. Would it be hard to believe that the Night Folk will get a hold of it and take it to Mexico? Or something along those lines. I, I could totally see that happening. Which, the mask itself is another hint at a supernatural DLC. Not to mention the aliens. The cult that sacrificed themselves to the aliens. Numerous other things that in the game that just hint at something supernatural going on. There's ghosts. There are actual ghosts. There's a ghost train and the lady ghost in the bayou. Numerous things. Definitely could see a supernatural DLC coming. It's something that Rockstar is very good at. And I know they would do a great job with it. Uh, I would be excited for it. Uh, the original footage I had for this video unfortunately got corrupted but I, I when I was recording it I came across the ghost train for the first time it's really eerie for sure it was super eerie uh, but the file got corrupted so I'm using older footage that I recorded from the story but anyway this has been awesome uh, I, I love doing videos like this if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like leave comments down below I want to talk about what you guys think the the DLC might be I'd be very excited uh, to see what you guys have have heard of maybe or even if uh, you think a different one is more likely than another just start the discussion down below I love talking about things like that uh, you guys are awesome if you want more of this content be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video